Okay, y'all. Uh, I'm a hot, sweaty mess. I just visited my shit in storage. And the reason why my shit is in storage is because I live with my parents. Yeah. Um, everybody who knows me and knows my mother knows that she is um, a hoarder. Mm -hmm. It's bad. It's really, really bad. Um, haven't found any rodent remains yet, but lots of evidence. And now we have four cats in the house. But anyway, um, I moved back in with my parents, helped my mother with her hoard and everything, and they want to sell their house and move to Asheville, and I want to buy their house. Um, the easiest way for me to do that is to live with them, help her get organized, because I'm damn fucking good at it. I'm My OCD, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, people who've lived with me know, OCD all the way. Um, so I'm helping her with her hoard and, you know, saving money for my down payment and everything to buy the house. Um, and I drive a taxi. Last night it rained and it was really bad. I mean, there were like delayed flights for like hours and stuff. And um, so, who's calling me? God, I'm going to put this bitch in airplane mode. Get the fuck on. Um, so I, I didn't come home till five o'clock this morning. And, you know, I don't sleep very well, and I don't go to sleep immediately most times when I do come home because I, I have hereditary insomnia. <laughs> it's the call your way. Um, so, I was asleep. My mom came in and brought a, a basket into my room, and, you know, just, it completely pissed me off because I'm very sensitive to my sleep environment. Um, I've been conditioned over the years to sleep lightly and be alert, um, given the, the people that I've lived with and places that I've lived. Anyway, so when my mom came in there, it pissed me off and, <clears throat> and I got emotional and I really felt some type of way, but I did not say anything to her. Instead, I got dressed and left. But on my way out, I was like, you know, I didn't come home till five o'clock this morning. And she said, well, <laughs> I just wanted to choke the shit out of her, but really it was, it, it was my problem. Um, it wasn't until I probably got maybe 10 miles down the road, I was going to the car wash and I thought about it and I'm like, Jessica, you know, she's heavily sleep medicated. She doesn't sleep either. She has a mess. She takes this medication and odds are, you know, she didn't even think about it before she walked in that door. Don't take it personal. And I'm glad I didn't say anything to her, and I'm glad that I took a moment to rationalize because in the old days, man, I would have flew off the freaking handle. I can't stand people creeping around me when I'm asleep. Mm. It wasn't until my eldest adult child moved out that I realized how much it really disturbed me having people awake and in, in, in the house and around me when I try to sleep. Um, but anyway, yeah. I'm glad I didn't fly off the handle and I thought about that before I said anything. I did call her and told her that I was going to visit my stuff in storage and um, pick us up a, a chef salad on my way home and we'd split it. Yeah. And I felt so much better after I did that. After I called her and told her that, really. Don't waste time being upset about things. Seriously. Mm. And don't be quick to say things in anger. Can't take them back. You can apologize, but they're still out there. Echoing forever. <laughs>